Hi guys, welcome back and today we're actually gonna talk about five more things that you can do in Ayanapa because you guys were really loving it last time I did it and it's been a long time since I was living in Ayanapa but I still know many of the good secrets and just because you guys have been so interested in knowing more I have done a new video. So these five different things are very close to Ayanapa or it is actually inside Ayanapa. So it's a really good concept for this video. So if we just start with the places a little bit outside and then we'll come back into Ayanapa itself. So the first place I want to talk about is actually Love Bridge. So Love Bridge is a super popular like stone bridge that is going out into the blue waters. It's like absolutely amazing. Many people are just jumping from the rocks from here. Maybe something that is not super recommended, but many people do it anyway and it's super cool to see. And if you want to, you can actually walk all the way down to the, the end of the love bridge and swim from there. I do recommend you to have the, like swim shoes or anything. I know you're gonna look stupid in your swim shoes, but it's totally fine, I have it myself also. But the thing is you're not gonna cut your feet when you're going down there if you have these shoes. So it's something that I totally recommend. So this place is really cool and it is actually on the way to the next place we are gonna talk about. So we're gonna go through these pretty quickly because I don't want to talk about them too much and I will actually link about all of these stuff down in the description so if you want to read more about things or even book your hotels there is TripAdvisor links down in the description so just check them out to read more all right so next place is actually Cape Greco I know I know I've been through this a little bit before but Cape Greco is like a super cool place that you need to visit if you haven't been there. So for example, the Blue Lagoon that I've been speaking about in an older video, which I'm gonna actually put up here if you want to watch that also. So the places around here is actually the, the Cave El Greco that is around in this area. And the Cave El Greco is like a, a cave that are like huge. Then, so underneath, you, you just go down uh, some stairs by a little church and when you come down there there is like this huge gap in in the mountain wall or whatever you want to call it and uh, by the seaside so you walk in here it can be a little bit slippery so watch out but when you're in here it's like super cool pictures that you can take because you have like this really cool um, outline of the of the cave itself and then you just see the ocean. So if you want to take cool pictures of others or just of the nature around this area, it's super recommended to go down here and see it by yourself. And while we are around Cave Greco and stuff like that, so in between Love Bridge and Cape Greco, there is something called Sea Caves. It's like a really, really beautiful scenery around the caves. So if you just come out from the side, you can see all the big holes in the, in the side of the, um, the shore that you have with these uh, caves and everything. It's absolutely amazing to see. You can swim in some of the areas, but be careful because some of the places you will not be able to come up again. So it's mostly to go here either by boat, uh, with a company or by yourself if you are able to hire something. But if you cannot, then it's super cool to just be in the closed area and take some amazing scenery photos of these sea caves. And these are like all natural and it's a super unique sight to see from this, this place actually. And if we're walking back into Ayanapa, back again to see a little bit more around the area. We all know about the main road of Ayanapa. This is where you find all the shopping, all the, um, all the nice bars and all the restaurants. So I've been speaking about this also and it's a really cool place to be. But there is absolutely amazing things to actually explore while you are in the main town of Ayanapa. And if you walk up the road to the, to the bar street, 
there you will have the super big sign that you probably know about already that says I love Ayanapa I think it says on it or at least it says like with absolutely massive letters Ayanapa and by this side there is the place I'm gonna go and talk about next and that is the monastery of Ayanapa it is located here behind this sign and you can go in there and explore all of the really cool like um, architecture and the area itself so it's like a park you can walk around with beautiful scenery and then you can actually walk into the monasteries in this area it's really cool it's placed just by the bars but walking here in like daytime is really really recommended it's very beautiful there's lots of people that are interested in these areas so you'll probably find someone else that is also interested in the same things as you so this is one of the places you should absolutely go to if you are visiting in Ayanapa. And then my last thing I want to bring up is actually now on the other side of Ayanapa. So we have gone from one side to another and here closer to Nisi Beach we have the water park. This water park is the biggest water park around the area which is called Water World. It is a theme water park. And what that means is like it has a theme that is follows for the whole park and it's, in this case it's like a Greek mythology park which I personally love really much because I love the Greek mythology it's super cool and please tell me down in the comments what you think about the Greek mythology but about the park itself it's a really cool park it's massive and there's loads of cool rides this park fits even the smallest of family and childs up to like an older age there is anything for you even if you can't swim i know people that can't swim they do the lazy river all day and that's totally fine i love lazy river myself and with that said there is really cool rides there is the one that is like sky high up and yeah like sky high up in the sky so to say and it is like totally dark when you ride this one and then you just come splashing out in the water it's a really cool one you have a different view that is like swinging back and forth and then you splash right into the water it's like you're sitting in a boat for example it's a very cool cool one i was a bit sketchy about this one but after trying it out because i needed to it's super cool and if you have been in these um, before, I think it's called like the vacuum or the toilet, some, some people call it. So you just jump in there and you're gonna spin around down in the toilet into the drain. This is a very special ride, which is super cool. It goes super fast and you can just go back to the queue again and again because everyone is just going so fast through it. But there's really good slides and it's something I totally recommend to go into the water park. It's super cheap, I think it was 25 euros and uh, that's for the whole day. That is really nice, there is places to eat, there is lockers, there is everything that you need. With that I want to recommend you to watch my other video about 5 things to do in Ayanapa. It is a really good video for you if you have not been here before and you want to know what you can do around the area. I will have the video up here so you can just continue watching that one straight after I'm done with this video. Thank you very much for attending my video today and I'll see you next time. Have a really good week. Thank you.